No one expected this kind of victory, perhaps not even David Cameron himself. For the first time in 18 years, his Conservative Party will have a majority government without the need for a coalition partner. It's a result that could have major implications for Britain's relations with Europe. Cameron has promised a referendum on whether Britain should stay in the European Union. We will deliver that in-out referendum on our future in Europe. As we conduct this vital work, we must ensure that we bring our country together. As I said in the small hours of this morning, we will govern as a party of one nation, one United Kingdom. With that commitment to One Nation, Cameron is squaring up against the Scottish Nationalists, the other big winners in this election. The SNP took nearly all the seats in Scotland. There's already talk about their pushing for another referendum on independence. Clearly there is an appetite for change in Scotland and there is a very, very strong desire for Scotland's voice to be heard much more loudly. The SNP victory came at the expense of the Labour Party, which also lost out in the rest of the UK. Party leader Ed Miliband has now resigned. Britain needs a Labour Party that can rebuild after this defeat so we can have a government that stands up for working people again. And now it's time for someone else to take forward the leadership of this party. Two other leaders have also quit. First, Nick Clegg of the Liberal Democrats, who was Deputy Prime Minister in the previous coalition government. Then Nigel Farage of the Eurosceptic party, UKIP. It attracted 13 percent of the vote, but only won one seat. A bitter pill for Farage, but that's British electoral arithmetic.